It's possible that there is some mechanical advantage uh, of one of these and that uh, this stiff part of the haft could be likened unto the arm of a trebuchet and this is a bit like the sling of a trebuchet so the arm comes to a halt and you still get this then flying over the top a little bit more acceleration and a little bit more oomph for a harder thwack so it seems that you could thwack someone really hard with one of these and, and you could test this you could get a, a helmet and then you could bash the hell out of it with one of these and then you could prove perhaps to yourself that yes you really can hit things ever so hard but how effective would they be in a fight where the other guy's actually you know fighting back and parrying and you're actually trying to hit him not going through some choreographed pre-arranged set of moves well i can't see a safe way of doing it i mean one way i suppose would be to put the defender in a stupendous amount of armor so he's proof against virtually anything but then you haven't actually tested it under the circumstances that it would be used in a man wearing uh, proper authentic armor um, how are you going to test this? Well, we bashed the hell out of him and he died. So we proved that they were effective against a man in armour. Well, no one's going to be that dummy, are they? No one's going to stand there and be thwacked by this just out of you know, a bit of academic curiosity. Um, I can't think of a way you could test this properly in a real fight situation where you're actually trying to hit the other guy and find out how wieldy it is and whether you can get round someone's defences. So it could be that we're never really going to find out how good these were. Some years ago, I fought against someone with one of these, uh, only I didn't. You see, this uh, ball at the end of uh, his Morning Star flail, his one-handed flail, whatever this thing's called, was actually a soft padded ball, and even the chain was padded, and it was very, very long. Uh, one thing I found that was very effective about his weapon was that it could curl over the top of my shield. So I was pulling my shield up thinking, ah, oh, that, that, that'll stop him because I was used to a stiff thing hitting the edge of the shield and then stopping. But this thing, of course, kept going, came over the top of the, my shield and had such a long chain that it was long enough to hit me. And he got, got in a couple of good hits. And I was thinking, oh, these are rather effective. But it was a very long chain and the whole thing was padded and rather light. So though it showed that in that uh, live action role play context it was a more effective weapon than i had uh, previously supposed um i don't think that actually told me anything useful about the real weapons the indie Bay!